Dude, it is a Pocky, bro. It is, it is, it is, it is. What the wall? Oh. Look at that pig. And this one's huge. Oh my god. That was so sick. I got the whole eat on video. That's an over slot. Have you ever fished on this thing? So coronavirus is in full effect right now and it's allowing us to fish some areas that let's just say we're not able to fish before. Right Nick? Yeah. Alright. This rod we got a free line. This is the Pocky rig. It took me forever to freaking tie this. We got some 30 pound wire on a one aught J hook. Eight pound main, 17 pound straight on the reel, fluorocarbon for the live bait rod, and 10 pound braid, six foot eight pound leader with a tiny little crappy jig. Crappy jig should catch just about everything. You got a shiner on already? We got it. You got it. Let him eat it for a long time. Let him eat it for a long time. Got it, bro. Oh, he's got the shiner already? Let me see it. Let me see the video. It's filming right now. Let him eat it for a long time. It's probably a giant gar. Once he goes again, I'm gonna hit him. Yeah. You're gonna hit him next time? If it's a gar, though, you're supposed to let him eat it for like five, ten minutes. Hopefully it's not. Could be something else too. Oh, he dropped it. Yeah, it's probably a guard. Wow. Maybe not though. Maybe not though. Doesn't look like he got hit by one. Yeah, it looks like he just got inhaled and spit out. All right, guys. So this is the area where I've seen Paku people see them every day here. They live in this area. And I've also seen some good sized tarpon in here, some giant bass, giant gar, all kinds of crazy stuff. Dude. Isn't this sick? Fish on. What do we got? Bluegill. <laughs> First fish of the day. Beautiful, beautiful spring fed water here. Some mullet down there too. It's so weird. Later, dude. All right. There's a huge grass carp right here. It's like a freaking aquarium right now, I swear. I think I'm just seeing some Paku right here. I think I just saw some Paku right there. See if you sit all the way back here, no one can really see us. Be spread on, so you see if I can get a Paku. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't they? They're huge. Everything's like giant in here. Big ass piece of bread. <laughs> That's sketchy. Pock you on. Yeah. No, I got him. He's over here. I see him. I don't know. 
Might be a carp. He's stuck in the sticks. Dude, it is a Pocky, bro. It is, it is, it is, it is. But he's stuck in the sticks. He's stuck in the sticks. How do I get him out? Oh my God. It is. How do I get him out though? No, 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 no. He's still on. He's still on. Yes, yes. He's out. Oh my God, bro. It's a Pocky, bro. No, it's a catfish, dude. Are you serious? Oh my god. God. <laughs> it looks like him because, dude, there's actually a Paku following him right now. Are you serious? Yes, dude. Is it a catfish? It's a huge, like, 10 pound catfish. <laughs> <laughs> He's telling me, bro. No, because there was an actual Pocky with him, dude. I just saw him. Holy <laughs> Dude. Oh, I almost flipped on my freaking kayak. Dude, Nick, I don't have my paddle, dude. It's like my biggest freshwater catfish ever. I knew it wasn't fighting hard enough. <laughs> it's like 20 pounds, bro. <laughs> I don't know, this is, um, I believe it's a blue cat. No, it's a blue cat. Look at that. <laughs> I do, I thought he was a Pocky because there's a Pocky following him, I swear to God. <laughs> Look at him, bro. <laughs> what does that sound? Is that the catfish? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say so. This keeps farting, making this like farting sound. Thanks, bro. I lost my paddle. There's a manatee right here. Gets up there. He's like coming right up to it. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, it's like a slot smoke. It's not even that great either. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Ooh. This bite, right? That's just one of the little ones. Bring him over here and I'll grab him. Don't bring his nose towards me. Now. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Alright, so unfortunately the spring run is closed and there's never a, it's never allowed to be fishing because it's a protected area, okay? Okay. Yeah, we weren't fishing, we were just like checking it out right. in the kayak. But well, it's still closed unfortunately because all parks are shut down. Okay. So, just need you to head out, okay? Alright. Is somebody else with you or just you? Over here. Alright. Have a good day. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, man. 
So the spring is pretty cool. We caught 20 pound catfish, bunch of gar, a small bass, bluegill stuff. We're only there for about 30 minutes and then yeah, we uh, decided we wanted to go bass fishing instead. We're doing some social distancing and some isolation out here in the boat. We're in quarantine. So. Quarantine my heart. So, uh, that spot was a bust. Didn't get any Paku. We got kicked out. I guess we weren't supposed to be fishing there. So, we moved to our old viable spot. We found some big frogs. We got plenty of shiners left. Nick caught a big gar. I caught a 20 pound catfish. I mean, it's kind of random, but that's not what we were asking. 20 catfish, yeah. <laughs> so, we kind of wanted to just Eat the bread, though. catch some bass. Yeah, I know. It freaked me out. I thought I had a pocky because I saw this big black thing swimming around, taking taking a decent amount of drag, more than a carp, you know, would. And I was like, dang, it could be one. But Our spot here. Throw some topwaters. We got a ton of live shiners still. I haven't used it yet, so. Catch some bass. Let's catch some fish today, so. Dude, the action on this frog is so good. Look at that. <gasps> swirled hard on it. Oh, he's going back on it. Holy. Oh, swirled on it hard. Oh, as soon as it hit the water. On the frog, yo. <laughs> I think I got it on video. Hell yeah, flipping frog, man. Look at that. Flipping frog right in the corner. It's like a three pounder. All right, buddy. There you go. First one down. That did not take long. First freaking five you, minutes or so. Told you, bro. That was awesome. What they say, they're going off the way. Skitsy. Well, that is a really solid way to start. Ooh, turtle mating season, bro. Yeah. Ooh. Turtle mating season. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh. We hit it like 10 times. Oh my god. Instantly, what the hell is going on? I don't know why this frog is getting hit every cast, but it's crazy. Look at this. Who's got it? Oh, what the heck? They keep missing it. Do you see that? Right in there is a call last time. Frog. I know, it gets a lot of people right. Yeah, yeah it does. I know. I know. Leo. Same Leo. He is real. Don't worry, Leo. They don't think you're real. Got him. Nice. That was sick. So for those of you who don't know, we were talking about Leo right there. Leo, the dragon lizard, was found in this lake years ago, and he's just, you know, chilling on Nick's boat all the time, so. <laughs> Goes everywhere fishing with us. That is a freaking sweet one on the frog. Nice. I wasn't even looking, I just felt him take it. Pretty good. good. It's a couple. What do you guys? So what I was doing for that last fish is basically I wasn't even paying attention and I was just leaving it there floating. 
And I just felt my rod just get jolted out of my hands. Are you throwing any shiners out yet? Yeah. Alright, we already caught a few solid ones on the frog. I'm gonna see if we can get them like super excited with the shiners. Get like two different shiner rods out there and just keep feeding the school. Cause then a lot of times they get like, like super excited at this spot and they'll just hit anything after you start feeding them. So. Drag super little. Nice. Oh, he's going for a ride. It's a nice one. Right there. Solid mine. Fish on. Yep. Am I recording? Nick, my recording. Holy shoot. Literally felt one take the shiner off the line while rolling this one in. Little one. That one. Holy shit. On the big one. Yep, big one. Big, big one, dude. Oh, it's a big one, dude. <laughs> it's a 12 inch shiner. Is my camera rolling? Yeah. No, it's dead. Okay, you ready? Should I set it? Should I set it? Should I set it? Should I set it? I'm gonna set it. Ah, oh, nothing compared to what I thought it was. But nice one. it's a, it a huge, like 12 inch shiner. I thought it was like a freaking giant. Yo, yeah, we're back on the lake now. Nice one right there. Oriented. I'm in. Still. I'm just still. Like, I'm still gonna work like one or two days, but I'm still gonna be allowed to do that. Dude. But, Ooh, got him! Ooh, we got him! Got him that time! That's a nice one, dude. That was, that was out of nowhere. That was sick. Came back. <laughs> Hell yeah! Good Chase baits, bro. Is that on as you on film too? Is it? Yeah, Tell it's me. Recording, yeah. Hey. Yeah, that Hold him up. Hold him up. Look at that size, that's what you want. That was like a hook set right there. <laughs> he wasn't going anywhere. Those hooks are so freaking sharp, man. Yeah. Like stabbed myself the first Got time him. trying to get him out. Dude, that's a nice one. That was super random dude, out yeah, in the you middle. Were really like, it in. Yeah, you're really, you're really like it in. Like I was moving it really fast. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. That's awesome, man. That awesome. They like this frog a lot. This is probably my favorite way to bass fish. Oh yeah, it's like in full effect right now. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, it was a lot of fun filming. Obviously we didn't catch any Paku, but that spot only contained a total of five ever seen Paku. And for that area, there's only five Paku that existed. So it was really a shot in the dark, and it was going to be legendary if you did hook one, but unfortunately we caught a 20 pound fat, uh, catfish. So, 20 pound TV blue cat, I guess. Super random day of fishing of just messing around. Um, got to get some really good bass bites though towards the end of the day. Uh, editing and being consistent with posting at least once a week 
I'm going to do my best to keep getting them out there, guys. I have a ton of awesome content. And I might even be doing an update on this fish tank. Let me know if uh, you guys are interested because, as you can see, it has come a long way from when I started. I'm also a film student juggling work and trying to get my boat fixed up and ready to go. So there's a lot of Photoshop to you guys on. So stay tuned guys for the new content. It's going to be coming out really soon and it's going to be fire. So make sure to subscribe and like guys. I really appreciate the support. Tight lines.